Hello everyone, welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Ian Munardili's Ella Forster receives heartbreaking news concerning her newborn child, and things worsen when she is suspected of lying. In tonight's Emmerdale episode, Liam Cavanaugh and Ella received unexpected news while attending their first baby ultrasound. Ella initially wanted to go to her baby ultrasound alone because of Liam's past critical comments. However, when Ella's taxi to the hospital failed to arrive, Liam insisted on driving her himself, especially because she believes he is the father of her unborn child. The couple arrived to the scan excited to hear their baby's heartbeat for the first time, but when the nurse's face dropped while gazing at the screen and hurriedly exited the hospital room, Liam feared the worst. Liam believed the nurse could not discover a heartbeat, so he asked Ella whether there was a baby at all and lied about being pregnant. Ella was insulted and couldn't believe what Liam was saying, so he stormed out of the hospital, and Ella followed suit. Ella's baby died, leaving her sad. In heartbreaking scenes, Ella asks Manpreet, What have I done wrong? They couldn't see my kid on the ultrasound, and now Liam believes I made everything up. Ella said, I'm not mad, Manpreet. I ran testing. I didn't anticipate the outcome, and neither did Liam. Manpreet commented, I know, but he would have seen this kind of thing before. Sadly, it's not that rare. Manpreet then told her she had an anembryonic pregnancy, often known as a blighted ovum or silent miscarriage. It is a type of early miscarriage in which a fertilized egg implants in the uterus, but does not develop into an embryo. The fertilized egg stops growing, while the gestational sac continues to develop. So there was a real baby. Ella asked, Yes, you did conceive. You were definitely pregnant, Manpreet informed her, and she sobbed in her arms. Meanwhile, Liam told Patty how he believes Ella lied about being pregnant. Liam commented, I knew I shouldn't have believed her. And now that this false imaginary baby is gone, how can I deal with it? He continued, I should be relieved there is no baby. The woman is obviously upset. She needs to leave Patty. I want her gone. Tom King, the Emmerdale villain, has taken another terrible move as he continues to manipulate his wife Belle Dingle, but soap viewers aren't thrilled with where this plot is headed. Emmerdale viewers know where the drama is going with Belle's abuse storyline, and they aren't pleased. Tom and Belle's romance has heated up in recent weeks, as seen on ITV. Tom had frequently deceived and assaulted his wife, but Belle kept her ground and eventually left him. However, Tom has positioned himself as the innocent person in the aftermath of their breakup, eliciting compassion from the other villagers. On Monday's episode, Tom began spreading rumors that Belle was developing romantic feelings with Vinnie Dingle after witnessing them sharing a pleasant embrace. This has offered an explanation for his breakup with Belle, portraying himself as the wronged person. During a conversation with Nicola King, deceptive Tom said he couldn't believe Belle had left him alone. Tom pretended to be an emotional wreck, saying, I mean, how could she terminate our marriage, our baby? I just wanted to be a father. And now her and Vinny, he said, leading Nicola to ask for further information before applauding back at Belle. I always knew you, you were too good for her, she told me, and Nicola isn't the only one who is beginning to sympathize with Tom, but soap fans are outraged that the villagers are uniting around the villain and accusing the show of being biased against Belle, the true victim. Emmerdale mentioned it earlier. They are currently trying to turn people against Belle. This is what they always do, one spectator said on X, formerly Twitter. So now everyone believes Tom. Can the writers please get a grip? Wrote another irritated soap viewer. A third irid viewer remarked, It's been on for five minutes and I'm already irate. Writers, stop mocking our intelligence. 
Everyone is suddenly turning against Bell and supporting Tom. It's stupid. A fourth asked that this storyline come to an end. Emmerdale, why is this narcissist still calling the shots? They asked. Tom continued to exploit Bell. Unfortunately, there is no hint that Tom's manipulation of Bell is coming to a stop on Emmerdale. In another troubling twist this week, Tom emptied their shared bank account, leaving Bell financially vulnerable. He then devised a scheme to mislead her into returning to their marital home. After agreeing to remain with Nicola, Tom told Bell that she could stay at the house alone with her puppy, Piper. Bell agreed only if she could change the locks and be the only person with the key, which Tom first agreed to. However, he promptly broke his pledge, but did not tell Bell the truth. When the locksmith handed Bell a set of keys, Tom attempted to use one of the keys on the back door. As the locksmith exited the house, Tom pursued him and inquired whether they might be recut, fearing they were not functioning properly. Tom, desperate to get his hands on a set of keys so that he could maintain control over Belle's home at all times, said, she gets really bad with her nerves and everything has to be accounted for. Tom, clearly not believing what he was saying, said, of course, I'll pay you for it. The locksmith, tempted by the offer of money, gave Tom a set of keys and appeared to agree to remain silent in exchange for the extra cash, with Bell having no idea. With Tom now having 24 sevenths access to Bell's whereabouts, might he be plotting another nasty scheme against his wife? And when will Bell recognize that, despite their agreement to split, he is still trying to manipulate her? B. Lily Dingle departed the village in tonight's episode of Emmerdale, leaving Tom King seething. Has Belle finally escaped Tom? Belle just discovered that her husband Tom had been controlling her for months, tracking her phone and keeping an eye on her through security cameras in their home. Last week, the pair went on a trip to Wales, where Belle was surprised to learn that Tom was preparing to relocate them permanently. Their vacation turned into a nightmare as Tom proceeded to gaslight Belle, keeping her in the house and even physically assaulting her. Fortunately, Belle escaped and subsequently ended their marriage. Tom has let Belle live alone in their home with their pet dog Piper, but Tom is still trying to worm his way back into Belle's life. Can Belle stand up to him? In tonight's episode, Belle became irritated with Tom for treating her as if they were best buds. Charity advised that she go away for a while and see Kane and Debbie Dingle. Belle made it plain that she does not want to go away, but Charity maintained that the break would be beneficial to her. Tom caught Belle before Charity drove her out of the Dales. You going somewhere? He inquired. Charity informed him. She's just going to stay with Debs for a while. Belle said, just to clear my head. Tom responded, I would have given you a lift if you had asked. An irritated Belle responded, I would have driven myself if you hadn't sold my car. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.